Hey YouTube, it's the American Samurai coming to you once again, almost like a small thing to say. Back again with a review here of Batman 100 Page Giant Issue 1. Um, if you guys don't know, these DC collections are available exclusively at Walmart. There is four of them Batman, Superman, Justice League, and Teen Titans. They contain one re or three reprints and one original story. Um, this one does have like two Batman stories, and then I guess they decided to spread it out with characters that I think are technically considered part of the Batman family, which is uh, Nightwing and Harley Quinn, because I think, I'm not sure if he is in the main universe, but I know in the Injustice universe she is part of the Batman family. If you want, if you play Injustice 2, I think she has the Batman symbol on her back, which means she's part of the Batman family. Um... Um... Okay, brain stories from, I've not read a whole lot of the New 52 Batman stuff, uh, but if I had to rank these just by going by what I thought, I'd say Batman, Batman One More Chance was, I think is the original story, which I, uh, part one, which I think was pretty good, um, which is cool because it takes Batman back to his origin, to the alley and theater where his parents were killed, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Hush, part one, has to do with a uh, um, millionaire son being kidnapped, and Batman has to go in and save the day, but something is controlling uh, Catwoman and Killer Croc, and, well, I'm not going to spoil that part. You have to read it yourself. Um, Nightwing, Welcome to Gotham. Murder underneath the big top of Haley Circus, and it's interesting too because um, the clown—he's not exactly happy right now because I mean, you got him steady, and his costume looks almost exactly like the Joker. So I can tell he's not so happy. And then uh, Harley Quinn, uh, which I think is brought, was really it was surprisingly good. I've I've not read any of the Harley Quinn New Fifty Two stuff, so I see if I have to rank him, it'll probably be. Uh, Batman, one more chance. Harley Quinn, Hot in the City. Nightwing, Welcome to Gotham. And then Hush is probably if I had to rank them. Uh, but if you find it, I'd highly recommend checking it out. I'll keep my, my eyes open for issue two. And uh, maybe I'll come back with a review of the other one I have. Uh, so if you like what you see, comment, subscribe. Sorry, this is kind of quick. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. So this is kind of a, a, a little mini review for you guys. Um. I don't want to go too in depth into them because it will kind of ruin the point of it. But like I said, if you find these at your local Walmart, I'd go ahead and pick them up. They're worth reading. I enjoy what I read so far. And it's kind of nice to see this. Like I said, I've not read really any Harley Quinn or Nightwing comics before. So this is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys like what you if you like me, you like my subject matter, you know, want to see more stuff about me or my brother who always shows up on this channel, uh, comment. Or subscribe, press that little bell icon there, and it'll let you guys know whenever I put up a new video. They're kind of random, so you can be surprised. It may be a video of me, it may be a video of my brother. I don't know. But anyways, overall thoughts on the book? I'd say probably this is about a 3 out of 5. If you're a Batman fan, and you're not from, like I am, and you're not familiar with all the modern stuff, or um, the Nightwing or Harley Quinn comics, then yeah. I think this is a good jumping on spot. Uh, I'd say probably the blood, the most violent thing in this movie is probably towards the beginning. It's interesting the way to do it because um, it seems like a big thing is saving animals because she actually uh, saves a dog from an abusive owner and then knocks a guy who tries to kill her head off, head literally head off with her hammer. So um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just be warned, that's probably the most fun. I think that, I mean, there's violence in it, but I think that's probably, I mean, it doesn't, just shows the head coming over the thing, so I don't think it's as bad as it could be. But, yeah, three out of five, and uh, I'll see you guys on the B&B. That's bye-bye.